Welcome to the episode of Pick and Pop, where we talk about the intriguing topics in sports and pop culture. It's your boy MJ, and today we got Jules in the house. Hey, hey. Woo! Let go. Lizzo's one of the hottest artists out there, but this time she gave a little special treat to all you Lakers fans at halftime. Is she dancing to her own music? Yeah, yeah. So it's her own song. Oh. Yeah, her, her, own, her own song came on <laughs> yeah. and then she started dancing. Oh! <laughs> Whoa, I was not expecting that. What you know about that? Whoa, wait, like, is that like a shirt, like a dress and it's like just cut out for You know, butt or like something? some chaps, like some cowboy chaps. <laughs> I was not ready for that. That, Wow. <laughs> That is like a full on peach. <laughs> <laughs> Georgia peach. <laughs> I was going to say James and the giant peach, but that's probably mean. Huh? Yeah, Lizzo the giant mean? peach. <laughs> Lizzo the giant peach. Hey, it's Lizzo. She can do whatever she wants. And when Lizzo was getting interviewed courtside, she let the reporter know that she had her eye on a special somebody on the Timberwolves. Ooh. You spent some time in Minnesota. Who are you cheering for tonight in this basketball game? Let me tell you something. Both teams are great. I'm personally cheering for number 32. <laughs> Ooh, who's I, 32? Well, uh, <laughs> we can tell LeBron was all like, oh, wait, are you looking for me? Oh, oh never mind, never mind. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Carl Anthony Town? Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't I know what she said. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I love the reporter trying to keep it all professional. She's all like, oh, Carl Anthony Towns? She's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> That's your guy? That's my baby. Okay. You know one? No. Nope. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Her fake boyfriend. We all have him. <laughs> New man on the Minnesota Timberwolves. Hey, yes. So Carl Anthony Towns, holla. Subscribe, Subscribe to, to Matthew, Matthew Jordan, Jordan Presents. Presents. And some people thought Lizzo's outfit was a little out of line just because there could have been kids there. And then some fan doctored up this video of Kobe leaving with his children. Oh, <laughs> he's like, oh, we got to go to church tomorrow. Like, gotta, gotta go. <laughs> Not tonight. He's not trying to get caught up again. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> That's a big thong. Tis a season to be jolly, but apparently we don't all let it snow the same way. On the Walmart's website, they were selling a sweater that said, let it snow on the front. Whoa. So they just got Santa Claus <laughs> over here just doing lines of cocaine. Look at his pupils. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like Walmart actually is selling this? Well, they took it down now. It was like a third-party retailer. Well, Santa has to get through a full night of delivering presents. So. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Facts. Yeah. But who's supplying all that, though? Oh, he probably. That North that, Pole. <laughs> he got the direct route. <laughs> Those elves are just like manufacturing all you know, kinds of stuff. But some people were saying that Walmart couldn't be too mad. If you look at the product description, it's really not a surprise. The best snow comes straight from South America. South America? (laughs) What? Exactly. (laughs) What's Santa doing in South America? Santa really likes to savor the moment when he gets his hands on some quality grade A Colombian snow. Wow. This was in the product description. Oh. So Walmart can't be surprised when that's what the sweater looks like. Mm-hmm. So have a very white Christmas. I know a lot of us are doing traveling over the holiday season, but don't be surprised if you see a woman with a Hail Satan shirt on your next American Airlines flight. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, he did this. What was that? Because she looks scary. So this woman is wearing a Hail Satan t-shirt. She's so happy too. On an American Airlines flight. And the flight attendants forced her to change. So then she filed a complaint. Uh, um, so at that's first, dis- that's discrimination. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I just love the detail. You know, established 666, upside down cross. <laughs> <laughs> I would be so scared though, like to be sitting next to this woman. And, and my only defense for the airline is if I'm about to board a flight... 
We're going thousands of miles in the air and I see someone rocking that shirt. That does not necessarily make me feel better. On the ground, I'm good with that, but in the air. So yeah, stay safe out there, my friends. Now, for those who don't know, I'm a pretty big fan of raccoons. <laughs> <laughs> wow, fun fact of the day. <laughs> As are other people who proceeded to get this raccoon drunk on accident, apparently. So this all went down in Germany. Check out the drunk raccoon from Germany. Yo, first of all, that's a fat raccoon. That is a fat raccoon. <laughs> Yo, that raccoon been eaten. <laughs> oh, what you been oh, eating? Oh, man. Rats, cats, what you been doing, brother? Uh, but I feel like the raccoons in L.A. are way bigger than that. <laughs> they look like coyotes. Like. <laughs> Yo, look, look at that raccoon. It doesn't even care. It's just like <laughs> waddling <laughs> down the road like, hey. I just love this lady's reaction. She's like, is that a raccoon? <laughs> raccoon, is that you? <laughs> oh! <laughs> He's doing the reverse limbo at the bus doing stop. The limbo, like, reverse limbo. Ooh, Look at that. It's like, <laughs> dang, that. how did that thing fit? How under low there? can you go? Raccoon! Uh, oh, you gonna, I'm gonna just uh, sleep here. I'm gonna just take a sleep. Uh, <laughs> the kid is like, what's wrong with that raccoon, <laughs> mister? He's like, nah, nah, you can't play with it. And they had to oh, call, they had to no. call in the fire department to remove the raccoon. Oh, well, you going home? Sorry. <laughs> look at her face. Intoxicated in public. That raccoon's getting arrested right now. <laughs> oh no. Nothing to see here, folks. Uh. Nothing to see here, folks. There's a drunk raccoon. And now it's time for the viral victory of the week. The viral victory of the week goes to the mean mugging baby. So this mother decided to have a photo shoot with her baby and check out the final pics. <laughs> Woo! As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I take a look at my life and realize there's nothing left. That is a thug. Hey, that's a gangster baby. That is a like, gangster. Good, like, that is an RBF, if you guys know what that is. Resting baby face. Resting baby face, exactly. <laughs> wow. Ah! Ooh. She was like, get that camera out my face. She's like, who farted? <laughs> was that you? No, it ain't me. That's you. And here's a final pic of Mean Muggin' Baby. Oh, wow. That baby's high. <laughs> <laughs> THC milk. That's the way a to go. Snoop dog baby. Ooh. Ooh. Looks so peaceful, though. Ooh, that, that baby and the raccoon could be friends. Right? <laughs> Hit it. <laughs> Thanks for watching another episode of Pick and Pop. Make sure to share, like, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Till next time. Woo! Lego.